Hello everyone, Funshine X here. This is episode four of the Computer Cap tutorial series. This episode we will be playing with turtles. Yay, turtles. Actually, they're little robots. Speaking of turtles. What the heck? There's a turtle out here. He just destroyed this house. What is he doing? Well, you can see uh, some of the functions of a turtle. Uh, he's going along and uh, moving, doing a move forward command, it appears, and uh, there's a turn, and as he's going, he's using a little diamond pick and uh, destroying the dirt underneath him. Uh, apparently his inventory is full because he's just throwing all this dirt back on the ground. Um, this is really interesting. I'm gonna guess I'm just going to watch and see what he does. Um, yeah, very interesting. They do run a bit slow, so this might take a little bit. It looks like he's excavating. Oh, oh he's going to destroy that house too. Oh no, he's turning around. Looks like he's making sure there's nothing up here. Yeah, there he goes, just back and forth. Oh, goodbye, roof. Sorry, let's go see whoever lives in here. Apologize. Oh, it's empty. All right, they won't mind. We destroyed their roof. And I can't get out of here. Hurry, let me out. I want to see what he's doing. Okay. This looks like he's just still flying around. I'm assuming he's about to destroy the rest of this. I'm going to pause it and uh, just watch him a little bit. I'll be back. Yeah, I was right. He is destroying the rest of this house. Let me turn the sound back on since it's no longer raining as well. I'm going to help him a little bit. Looks like he's about done destroying this house. I, I really apologize to the villager who lived here. Unless maybe the villager um, created this this guy. Someone has built him, told him to do stuff. I, I was in here doing floppy disk tutorial. You guys knew, you know, I was here. I was just right here doing a tutorial. I talked about floppies, and all of a sudden I saw that guy building out there. What's he doing now? All right, he looks like he's done. Oh, all right, now he's doing the place command. Uh, placing looks like below him. Apparently, if I'm looking at this right, he's he's building another one of these houses. Well, that's really cool. Because that could be really useful. You know, if I were doing like a, a let's play and I needed to build a bunch of these type of houses, you know, if that's all I used and I never built anything else different. Oh, well, I could hire this little little turtle here to build them for me. I never have to build one of these these houses again. Doing a little bit of cuts because this is seems to be slow. Okay, what's he doing now? Looks like he's going along, placing some walls. Oh no! What are you doing, turtle? You've broken the door. Here he goes. All right, I'm going to uh, just take some video from up here and time lapse it, I think, will be the best method of showing off what this turtle's doing.
<clears throat> Looks like he's uh, about done. Let's see if he's made a door for us. Oh, there he goes. Looks like he uh, goes ahead and breaks the door. He's making it lit. We're lighting it up. And, uh, oh, look, a nice hallway into the uh, other room. I think I, I might have broke him. I got in his way. And I had quite a bit left over. Well, that was really cool. Um, see if there's a floppy disk in there. I wonder if we can read what's on there. Mining Turl Direbot. Okay. Direbot 2.0. What would you like me to build? A house. Sorry, I don't know how. Um, okay. How about a mansion? Sorry, I don't know how. Okay. Um, maybe a 4x4 four four house? <laughs> Does this count how to build anything? Oh, how about a cool brick house? Doesn't know how to build that either. Hmm. How about, oh, I know. Nine by nine. Hey, please insert six stacks of stone, 16 glass, and four torches, and type go when ready. Well, I don't want to type go right now, so that will break this house he just built. So let's uh, take him. We'll take our disk drive with us, and let's just go over here to play around. That guy there. Put the floppy in there. Go. Without further ado. And obviously I didn't place any uh, anything in here, so I think all he's going to do is excavate and then be done. So let's go and break him. Well, that's really cool. We now have a dire bot and a dire floppy. Whenever we would like to build a house, all we have to do is place the uh, the disk drive and the the dire bot on the ground. Type in what we want to build him to build us a nine by nine house, and off he goes. Pretty cool. Okay, so I think that served as a good introduction as to what uh, turtles are capable of. Um, I wrote that program in case you didn't know, so do a little acting and uh, for uh, some uh, inspirational guy. Go watch, check out his videos. He does awesome videos. He's playing a little fun on his behalf, but um, anyway, so let's let's learn about turtles. Okay, so we're out here in the grass, grassy area behind the house, and what I thought I'd build with a uh, turtle is a quick lumberjack util uh, program. Um, these are very common on the Computercraft forums, so you can go out and grab some code there, or you can just watch the tutor tutorial and I'll give you everything you need to make your own. Okay, so to start with, I want to create a uh, where the turtle is going to be placed, so let's put, put him right there. And he'll need a disk drive. Again, we don't want to write the programs directly on the turtle or we'll lose them if the turtle is ever destroyed. And I'll put the floppy disk right in there. And that's the same floppy I've been using for all my other developments. So we go out here and you'll see this floppy is disk one and it has the 909 Direbot program on there, uh, a lumberjack program I already wrote just to test with, and the startup script. If we open up the startup script, I have modified that to copy the 9x9 program from the disk onto the uh, the turtle and the lumberjack. Um, we're going to go ahead and create lumberjack 2. So let's go ahead and do that and save this guy. And then let's also do a new file and save him. Come on. Take a quick sec. All right, I'm not gonna do that. Let's uh, let's come back to here. Do it this way. All 
Okay, now I've got Lumberjack. <laughs> Okay. This is actually a, a very uh, quick program. Um, not very many lines. And the first thing I want to do is we're going to have our turtle be carrying a bunch of um, saplings. And we're going to put them in slot level, level number one. So just in case the turtle has been used for something else, we'll select slot number one. That's really easy to do. It's raining in Minecraft, of course. Fix that real quick. Can't wait till this is 125 so I can get any eye, but won't be long now. Back to the program. Okay, so we're selecting the first slot. We're going to do a turtle.place, and the place call takes whatever you've selected and places it on the ground. So you can place a block, you can place torches, you can place, in this case, saplings. You cannot do right-click actions, so bone meal will not work here. Um, I was going to try and originally make the the uh, the turtle place the sapling, bone meal it, then cut it down. You can't do that. Um, so unfortunately, we're going to have to wait till we have other mods. So we can put a deployer down, and we'll have the turtle send a redstone signal out to the deployer to uh, right-click on with bone meal uh, in in this place. So we'll do that during my let's play. You'll see that in, in place, and it'll be a really fast one. This one's just going to have to wait for the tree to grow. Okay, so he places down the sapling, and then he's going to go ahead and go up one block. And so that's really easy. We just tell him to go up. And why we're doing that is we want to detect when the tree grows, uh, but we can only detect either in front of us or above us. And because the sapling is right in front of us, we can't really tell when that changes to a tree other than do using the compare. really don't want to do that. It's easier just to move up. As soon as something grows, there'll be a block in front of him. So that's really easy. Now he's just gonna he's gonna wait basically, and uh, to do that we just do a loop. So we're gonna say while true do, and this kind of a loop basically just executes forever. Um, you gotta be careful with this because you, if you do this here, it'll go into an infinite loop, it'll never end, and you'll have problems. Uh, but we're gonna be really careful while we do this, and all we're gonna do is make a check and say, does the turtle detect anything in front of it? And if it does, then we'll do something. If it doesn't, then we're going to wait. And that to do a wait, you just say sleep. And let's sleep for two seconds. Okay. And then this loop will basically go on forever. If the turtle does detect, detect something, we're going to cut tree. And there's no program called cut tree, no function, so we need to make that ourselves. So go back up the top and make a function called cut tree. And this program is pretty easy. First, it's going to uh, dig whatever's in front of it. This only works with a mining turtle, uh, the ones that have the little uh, diamond pickaxe on them. So he's going to dig out whatever in front of him, and then he's going to move forward because it's now an empty air block. And then he's also going to dig right below him. That was where the sapling was. It's now a tree. So to do that, you say dig down. So that's dig right underneath him. And then he's going to do a loop and say, while the turtle detects something above him, uh, then run this loop. And that's really all we have to do is say, dig out the tree above you, and then move up. So he'll dig above him, move up, dig above him, move up, dig above him, until he gets to a glass above him. Um, so this doesn't really work if you've placed a block above your tree farm to limit the height. Um, so I find this program works best with the birch trees or maybe the evergreens. Um, the one, the firs that can may make that huge tree, kind of not uh, the best with this because the turtle wouldn't know how to go cut down all those branches. You have to make a lot more complicated program to do that. Okay, so he's dug up and he's up. At this point, if we've reached outside the loop, we know that he there's nothing above him. So... Let's go ahead and move down. So we're going to uh, run another loop, and this one's going to run forever. And we're going to make a check and see if the turtle detects underneath himself anything underneath himself. It 
if he's done detects something underneath him, that move, means he's moved all the way back down to the ground, so we can exit the loop. And to exit a loop in Lua, you just say break. So this will come out of this loop and go to this end statement here. Uh, if there's nothing below him, there's air, that means he still needs to go down. So we just say turtle.down. So that kind of a loop is really easy to make your turtle do something or move until he, an action occurs. In this case, we're going to keep going down until we detect the ground. And then we know at this point he's on the ground level, so we're going to make him back up one, step, uh, place another sapling on the ground, and then move up. Okay, and that will be the end of the function, and you can see that's going to go out here back to this infinite loop, and it will say try and detect again. So basically this program can run forever um, until, you know, he runs out of saplings. Um, hopefully you don't need to run it 64 times or you can give him even six stacks of saplings and he'll just drop all the wood on the ground. So it's not maintenance free. You do every once in a while to put new saplings in him and get the wood out. Um, once he fills up, he'll just be dropping the wood on the ground. Uh, if we've got mods, we can easily grab them with a transposer or an obsidian pipe. Um, if not, we just need to, to run him only when we're there, kind of watching him. And again, once we have a deployer, I'm going to issue a redstone signal to uh, right-click bone meal on sapling, and this thing will run really fast. And we can put a bunch of these out there, because all they need is a, a turtle and a spot of dirt, you know, and some saplings, and this thing can run forever. And we could uh, even, I think you could pipe, I'm not sure yet, because I haven't played with Buildcraft and Computercraft together, but I'm hoping I can pipe new saplings in either logistic craft or uh, insert pipes, something cool like that, and then we can truly automate this, set it and forget it. So let's go and save this Lumberjack 2 program. And remember our startup program is going to copy Lumberjack 2 Oops. onto the uh, turtle as soon as we place it down and boot it up. So back to Minecraft. Still raining, of course. Let's destroy this turtle and put it. We've already got our disk in there. So now the turtle booted up, so we can check the directory. We do have a Lumberjack 2 program. It does need saplings. And we say Lumberjack 2. And there you go. That ran really fast, but you see it placed a sapling in front of it, moved up, and now it's in that wait state. Every two seconds it's checking to see if there's anything in front of it. Uh, we could just leave this here now, and he would go until he ran out of saplings. Or... We can just bone mill this guy manually, and you'll see, come on, grow. Having problems here. I wasn't having this problem earlier. There we go. Okay, it grew. <laughs> I only did one of the big ones. Okay, so as soon as he detected, he went for, he broke the block, went forward, broke the block underneath him, and now he's going all the way up to the top. As soon as he detects air, he's coming back down. He'll move back. Oh, that is one thing you have to uh, check out for, is if there's something already on the ground, it gets in his way. So he detected grass here, and he went, wasn't able to move back. So let's, uh, because I clicked the bone mill wrong, that kind of broke him. Uh, so we put a new one down and run Lumberjack again. Oh, he was out of saplings. One more time. Okay. He's got something below him. Breaks the block. He's going to go all the way to the top. Whoa, that was a really big tree. Should see him pop out of here. Eventually. Where'd he go? Where are you? Maybe he got stuck? Maybe he did get stuck. Oh, he already finished. That was quick. Yeah, he went all the way to the top, came all the way back down. 
placed a new sapling and went behind him. So again, this is the fir tree. Uh, I'm going to pause it real quick and switch these to birch. Okay, so after some testing, birch actually doesn't work very well. I think the evergreens do the best. Um, birch, you just have to bone mill um, a lot, and they don't seem to grow very well. So let's do it with a, the evergreen, guys. Let me get some more of them. Oh, I've got 63 of them right there. Disk drive here. Turtle here. And run lumberjack. All right. Now I can pull mail this guy. And he'll come back down, place his half in, bone mill it again. So you can see this is pretty fast, if, especially if we had a red, uh, deployer to put the bone mill on. Uh, this could run automated and get you a lot of wood really quick. Oops. Put the dirt a little bit. Um, some other enhancement you could do is put the... Uh... Whoa, what did I do? I think I broke something there. Um, oh, because there was that uh, thing above him, so we might ha might wanted to uh, have him break up before he moves up, just in case there's leaves in the way. Um, if we put a something on top of the tree, so like say with the uh, these guys, put a dirt block there, and then we can use the comparison and keep uh, keep one dirt block in like slot nine. And then when he's going up, instead of detecting if he reached air, uh, see if the compare slot 9 equals what's above him, and then go back down. And that way when the tree grows, you don't get these gigantic trees, you just always get those same height trees. Uh, so that's one improvement uh, you can make the program. I'll probably do that in my Let's Play, and uh, you can do it on your own for homework. I'm just kidding. Um, some other things you can do is, you know, again, drop off what's in his inventory, uh, into obsidian pipe or a transposer and uh, yeah you can make this this really cool this is kind of having a basic on how to chop down a tree I've shown you really everything a, a turtle can do he can he can move he can dig place uh, compare detect and uh, yeah that's I think it's really cool again you can add a, a wireless modem onto the side of a um, turtle and then you could copy and programs to him or transmit commands to him remotely so we wouldn't have to have that disk drive right next to him. I'm not going to do a wireless uh, tele future tutorial. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the turtle tutorial. Um, if you liked what I the 9x9 program I built with DireBot, um, go ahead and send a message out to DireWolf. Hopefully he'll be able to watch the uh, um, video and and see if he comments on it. Hope he he doesn't mind the few jokes that I cracked on on his behalf. And uh, I thought it was a lot of fun to build that um, little nine by nine builder and play with you guys some. So uh, this has been Funshine X Computer Craft tutorial, Tutorials episode. Uh, I think four. I'm not sure. Lost count. But we'll keep doing more and explore uh, more what Computer Craft can do as we wait for. Uh, all of the mods to come out for 1.2.5. See you guys later. Bye.